New York for almost more than 20 years and got the opportunity to do a show like that, I wanted to include everything, my source, all the different objects and how my mind works as a street artist and as, as an artist inside the gallery and also why did I collect all this photo and all this object? And it was the best opportunity for me because it's a great location. You know, I always take something negative to be positive. Religion for me, it, it's something grateful, but it's also religion being killing hundreds of thousands of million people for all these years. It makes war and it constantly creating problems. So I decided to make this uh, uh, dynamic in the suitcase as a sarcasm. I just said, you know, what type of objects I will take with me if the, the world will end? And I felt like, well, you know, if one object has been damaging for all these years, it's religion. So I said, why not just take the, the Bible with me and blow myself up? And above the Bible, you have also a porn magazine. So it's also showing, like, what's going on now. You know, I wanted to figure it if is it parts of how we live and we just have to just surround it. You know, we just have to admit it. We just, and I think that's what it is. The more you try to get stuff, less you get it. You just have to be patient and enjoy all this period of time. So for me, the 25 years, it's a big meaning for me as an artist, but it's also for something is I really wanted. To, I'm proud to be in New York, and I'm proud to do a show in New York and a retrospective of my 25 years. That was actually my, my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> That's a very tricky little phone. At the time, like almost like um, 15 years ago, people didn't really have mobile phone. Very few people will use mobile phone because it was very expensive. So I was like, could be fun using an actual piece on the street to put your stuff. So let's say if you if you decide to tag something or, or put some stuff up on, on, on the street and it's completely illegal and you get chased by cops, you got all your equipment on it. So what you do, you place a phone on the street, what is a perfect thing, what you can see a phone everywhere, and you run, open it like, like the door, and put, put all your gear so they, they actually not gonna see it. You see you got another brush over there. So when the cops arrest you, you have absolutely no tool, and they can go around the phone and they will never think as you actually put something inside. You're gonna have a little cover where you can put more stuff about. <laughs> that was my actually bike as I used to have uh, when I came here, actually, it's a stolen bike, you know, I could not have afforded to pay. It's a real American bike, very heavy, very impractical with one gear. And with this bike, I did mostly 70% of my project. I could not afford to take a cab or, or, you know, have a friend to have a car because I barely speak English. But I used to put a bucket of glue here and that was actually the, you know, the way I used to go on the street and, and you know, I used to kind of like go like that and fill it up the whole wall. And sometime at one point I kind of actually um, had a scaffold. I had a, and I used the bike to stand on it. So I was six feet higher almost. But I upgraded it. I decided to, um, I decided to make a joke of it. And I was like, okay, how can I make uh, some fun with this bike? So I add an engine. What is, it's actually worked very well, but um, very slow. I'm French, I live in New York for 21 years and uh, you know, I'm a street artist who intended to keep doing projects and hopefully will do.